In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the last value in a column in Google Sheets. So sometimes when you're working in a spreadsheet, you may have a sheet that's thousands and thousands of lines long. And if you want to know what the very last value is in a column or row also, it can be very tedious to scroll all the way down. Sometimes what is actually a better method is just to have a formula up somewhere at the top where you can reference the last value in your spreadsheet. So that's basically what I'm showing you to do today. Um, there's a couple functions that we're going to use to do this. Um, the first is the index function. So if you're not familiar with the index function, I will just go over that briefly. I'll also go over the count a function because those are the two that we will be using for our formula. So the index function, this is the basic syntax here. Um, there's these three arguments. The row and column argument are optional. But basically what this does is you put in a range and then you put in the row and column index from that range that you want to return. So just to show you how that works briefly, I am just going to do this range and then the first argument is a row. Um, since I don't, I only have the one column in this formula, I'm not going to use that. So what this is going to do is it's going to return what's in the very first row inside this range. So you can see in the very first row of my range, this value is there. So it returns that two. So second value for my range is returned three. The third row of this range is returned. Um, so that's basically what index does. Again, I'm not using the column um, argument of this function because I don't have more than one column in here, but you can also use it for rows and columns. But that's index. Um, the next one is count A. This just counts the um, data that you have in your range. So you can put multiple ranges in here. I'm only going to do it with one. So I will just input this range and it's just going to count how much data is there. So if I delete this, you can see it drops to six, but right now it's seven. So that's what count A does. It just counts the data, um, the values in a data set. Um, so to use them to return the last value, Basically, what I'm doing is I'm putting the count A inside of index. So the index is returning um, the number of values that I have. So I'm just going to do index. I'll just do the um, entire first column. And then we're going to do count A. And I will also put the entire column in there. So you can see now this returns this because this is the last value in this column because it's counting this. It counts that there's eight values here. So then it does an index on this and returns what is in position eight. Um, that is why this works. Now, there's one problem with this, is that if I have a blank cell here, my count is going to be off. You can see, um, now the count is off. It's only counting seven values in here. And so it returns what's in row seven. So if you have blank cells um, in your range that you wanna return the last value for, there's actually one edit we have to make on this formula, which is using the filter function. So the filter function, um, this is the syntax here. What it does, um, how this works is you put in your range of data as the first argument, and then you put in the condition, and you have a spot to put in second conditions. Um, and so then it will return data according to the conditions that you specified. So to make this work, to ignore blank cells, um, 
what I have in this formula is basically it's set up a similar way to the previous formula. So it's my index and then it's my count A, but both of them have this filter in here. So it's index and then filter, and then I'm filtering the entire range here. And my condition is that the range values cannot equal, does not equal blank. And then I'm doing the same thing in the count A. So it's my range, um, that's the first argument of my filter. And then my condition here is this range does not equal blank. So what that is doing is it's basically filtering this first column in both the index function and the count A function. And it's just completely ignoring blank cells. And you can see even with this blank here, it is now actually returning the last value. So if you have blank cells in your range, you have to use the filter function and set up a condition of does not equal blank. Now this formula also works on rows. Um, this is the same exact formula, but I'm doing it on an entire row this time and it returns the last value in the row. So you can also use it with rows. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it useful. There are certainly other ways to do this um, with other formulas and Google Sheets, but I personally think this is the best method. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.